time in Redlands, California at a wonderful charity event. It's a crop that will raise money for the Unforgettable Foundation, which is a charity that helps families who have lost loved ones. Hi, we are doing a naked campaign and it is a CD envelope with one as well. So you hold your picture CDs and music from any kind of CD. and the rice hot and place it down on your table. The reason why is you want to take this strip and line it up right in the corner and go straight across. Hey, I'm here with Candace Carpenter and you know Donna and Candace is going to show us this awesome make and take. Thank you. I'm okay. at we're at the Unforgettable Crop Charity today. Yeah, I said that at the beginning but oh. Donna wasn't paying attention. Okay. <laughs> Let's make this make and take now. Okay. Donna's going to help us make this. Yes. Okay, so what's really fun about this is a uh, stamp that I stamp and then we're coloring it in with colored pencils. So you can really customize it to make it whatever colors you want. In this case, we're working with a fun little polka dot. So if you want to fill in your little cupcake with your colored pencils, and then Leah, maybe you help her with this part. Okay. Leave that on the tag. That's the pattern paper. So what? Blue? Yeah. It's blue. Blue. Oh, yeah. Blue I tip. brought these to you too, guys. They're from Avery. They're refillable blue pens. They are awesome. Cool. Box out of there. Yep. Just stick that on the tag. Oh my God. I, I love, love that. Yeah. That's really cute. Blue pen from Avery. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. This goes right here. Yep. Just glue that on. Either way, I did the two stitches okay. at the bottom. Yeah. Just like that. Okay. Where's my ruler? <laughs> no rulers today, Leah. We're going to let loose. <laughs> okay. Okay, so now we've got pop dots and we've got our embellishments, basically. So you've got your cupcake, you've got your sand for cupcake, and you've got your little polka dots. One thing I guess we can do first is a pipe cleaner. So with this one, all I did is I twisted it around like a glue pen or something, and I just stapled it at the top. So however you want to do that. So take this maybe and twist it around this nice Avery glue pen, like so. Oh my god, that's so cute. That's so sweet. So then play with that and staple it on how you like. Okay, and I'll put the glue dots on the back of this. Yeah, okay. Rise those up. So get some of them cut in half. Some of them are cut, yeah. And this is that bling cardstock. It's got that shimmery finish. But when you sand the edges, you get kind of a dull finish on the edge, and I love to sand. So that's just it. It's like a little detail, but it kind of makes a, a big difference to me. Yeah. A fun tip of the day. <laughs> I love pop dots. You can't pop enough up. These are pop dots? Yeah. They're a little difficult to get off, but yeah. they're worth it. And then all you do is just staple it? Yeah, staple it on. You can do like little X with the staples or just one staple. Yeah, yeah. Just kind of hanging off and kind of quirky. And then whoever is your cupcake, this is my grandmother, and she just looks like a little cupcake right there. I love her. So um, you just have to find a photo of your of your loved one, and you can stick that on there, and they can be your cupcake. Okay, this is outside of my comfort zone because nothing was torn. It's <laughs> crazy. It's all crazy. If you need to tear, tear. Okay. Uh, you already did all of the work on it. I don't want to. I might okay. stay true to your design. Okay. Okay, let's see what we did. Okay. Pipe okay. cleaner. I'll let the obvious close to the Yeah. Okay, so then now what we need to do. How did you get your silly dumb coat like that? Yeah, yeah just first. Well, and you know, once yeah. it's down, maybe lay it in a book or something. Oh. And then you can just kind of pick it up. Oh, totally. Yeah, make it. Oh! God. <laughs> Amazing. You were the design challenge. <laughs> So, we need to pop our little cupcake up. Here we go. Okay. Give us some pop. Maybe one more. Okay. Okay. Maybe we can't add sound effects to this. I know. Maybe pop down on the board. Oh, so we've got our little cupcake here. And then these go. Those just kind of go sporadic. It depends. I just love to work this. My Fisker Circle Punch. I can't use a Circle Punch enough. I love it. I love my Circle Punch. Yeah. For me, if I want to do something on a budget or something, if I don't have a lot of embellishments at home, pop dots really make it easy because you can use just paper and use punches and punch circles. 
and it kind of just comes to life when it has dimension. So yeah. it's my little secret weapon, I guess. I have a pop dot issue. I'm pop dot challenge. And then is four. Okay. And then she's got her seat. So she's going to add a picture of Donna right here, because she's her... Okay. And then you've got your tool and your string. And you just tie it in there. Tie, tie a bow. And you can even tear the tool if you like it torn. Just pull it a little bit, and it gets a little messy. She There's some tearing. Tearing. It looks a little vintage. In this case, it's wonderful. She's my vintage cupcake. I've never torn my tool before. Then she added a vintage photo. So let's get a close-up on that. Well, thank you, Candice. I'll, I'll be pan out again. <laughs> oh, thanks for Thanks, Bye. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Hey, everyone. I wanted to tell you a little bit about what we have planned for next month. On February 10th, I'll be attending the CHA convention. CHA is a craft and hobby association, and they have a huge convention where retailers and the press get to see the latest and greatest craft merchandise, including all the brand new scrapbooking product. It's just a great convention. Now, I'll be there with scrapbooks, etc. Um, I'll be walking the floor and attending a lot of meetings, so you won't see much of me that week. But Johanna and I thought it would be fun to show you uh, CHA, so she and a few friends that you may know will be there filming. So they're going to videotape on Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday that week, and they're going to show you their favorite scrapbook finds at CHA, and they're going to show you that video footage uh, on the same day that they film it. So it'll be a lot of fun. So Johanna is going to have her hands full. Yeah, she's going to have really, she's going to be very busy videotaping, but she will have some help. Donna Salazar will be with her, as well as a few other scrapbook friends that you may know, including our dear friend Angela Daniels. And if you know Angela like we do, I'm sure that she will show you CHA like no one else can. So it'll be a lot of fun. Okay, that's it. Have a great week. God bless.